We have new information tonight following the chokehold death of Jordan Neely on the subway. Protest inside one station yesterday got so intense they impacted train service. And tonight, police tell us they're looking to arrest at least six people. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has more from Soho. Video from Saturday shows demonstrators hold the doors open and stop an F train around 6 p.m. at the Lexington Avenue 63rd Street station. As police tried to intervene, others jumped onto the opposing tracks. Sunday, police released photos of six people they are looking for for criminal trespass. The NYPD says already 12 people have been arrested and multiple officers were injured. The MTA said a train carrying approximately 450 passengers had to stop and was unable to proceed into the station for about an hour. A spokesperson said in part, while peaceful protest has always been part of American fabric, endangering transit workers and other responders, while also delaying New Yorkers just trying to get where they need to go by deliberately risking contact with an electrified third rail is unacceptable. NYC failed you and justice for Jordan Neely are some of the messages part of a memorial growing Sunday outside the Broadway line. Lafayette subway station. It is there that this past Monday, police say 30-year-old Jordan Neely was acting erratically on an F train. Marine veteran 24-year-old Daniel Penny tried to subdue him and was seen on video putting him in a chokehold. Neely later died and his death was ruled a homicide. Penny was questioned and released, which has prompted multiple protests. Sources say Neely was homeless, had a history of mental illness, and was arrested more than 40 times for charges, including including assault and disorderly conduct. Sunday, CNN reported that New York City's Department of Homeless Services had Neely's name on a top 50 list of homeless people identified as having acute needs. A source told CNN people on the list oftentimes disappear, and city workers will reach out to other organizations to find them. And as soon as Monday, a grand jury could hear this case to decide if criminal charges should be brought against the Marine. In Soho, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. We also reached out to the city's Department of Homeless Services for comment, but no one got back to us by our deadline.